This morning, we are giving you an inside look at unprecedented series of tests that prove airline cleaning techniques do effectively kill the coronavirus. The research was funded by Boeing. University of Arizona and Boeing researchers used a live but harmless virus to test the cleaning process on real planes. Chris Van Cleve has more on the study and what it means about the safety of flying in a pandemic. University of Arizona researchers working with Boeing are applying a live virus that's harmless to humans but more resilient than COVID-19 to airplane surfaces flyers are most likely to touch. They then applied the enhanced cleaning techniques airlines have been rolling out since the pandemic began. Disinfectants, electrostatic sprayers, antimicrobial coatings, and this ultraviolet light wand Boeing developed to clean cockpits. The researchers found all four procedures were shown to effectively kill COVID. All of these processes and technologies together can give us a virus-free airplane. This follows research from the Department of Defense and DARPA using a test dummy that simulates a coughing passenger. During each test, the dummy spewed out 180 million particles. That's the equivalent to thousands of coughs. When the dummy wore a mask, testing found on average just 0.003% of the particles reached another passenger's breathing zone. Specifically, can I tell you sit in seat XYZ? No, they all performed very well. This week, seven months into the pandemic, the CDC strongly recommended people wear a mask when flying, are in a transit hub, on mass transit, or in a ride share. Airbus says its research found if passengers wear masks, the number of droplets reaching another passenger is lower than what it would be on the ground with social distancing because of the plane's air circulation and hospital-grade filtration systems. Infectious disease expert Dr. Carlos Del Rio. It's just not one thing. It's, it's sort of adding all those different things really makes, you know, planes, plane travel very, very safe. Airlines say there have only been about 44 documented cases of a passenger getting COVID during a flight and all but two of those happened before mask mandates were in place. Now, critics say it's hard to get a firm number because so many people can be asymptomatic and contact tracing in the U.S. is lacking. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Chris Van Cleve, Washington.